Hello everyone, my name is Josh and today I'm going to discuss how to program an RQA-151 and install the software. Let's start with the setup. You're going to need an RQA, a USB mini cable, a handheld radio, uh, six AA batteries, and a computer with internet access. Once you've got all this uh, in one area, let's start. Let's install the software. Go to Rytron.com forward slash tools and you can obtain a free software. Um, it is going to be the third PC software programming down on the page. And go ahead and download that to your desktop and then we're going to install that. Uh, we want to install that and the drivers first before we plug anything in. Okay, now we need to determine your frequency and tone information for any current handheld radios. If you'll start with your handheld radio and turn it off and on on the desired channel, you will get a frequency and tone number from your handheld. If you have a handheld that doesn't have uh, a display on it, please contact your local radio dealer and ask them for the frequency and tone information for the channel desired. Okay, now we need to install the batteries and cables. Make sure that there's six AA batteries installed in the RQA. You plug in the USB mini cable hit the front red button and the light should come on. This will allow us to start programming of the radio, which is next. Now we move on to the programming of the unit. Double left click on the American icon to open the programmer. You will see connected in the upper right hand corner of the screen. You're going to go to radio in the tabs and read radio. Once the radio is read, you will come up with a mes message configuration message. Just click OK and then double left click on input 1. This is where we'll match up the frequencies and tones. In order to match up the frequency and tone, you'll need to gather that information that we, we got from your radios earlier or that you got from your radio dealer so we can match it up with what's on the screen and make sure that the radios will talk to each other. We're going to set the frequency first. Most likely it's going to be on 154.57 megahertz with no tone, but it could be anything. So you go up here and you select the frequency table that matches up with the frequency that you've pulled out of your radio. You'll click, you'll click that frequency and then move down to QC tone. You'll want to set up the QC tone that you got from your other radio as well here. Once you've achieved that, you need to go down and click OK and then double left click on the power options and set the frequency and tone there too. Uh, that way that your power, low battery and location phrases will, will play on your radio system as well. Once you've done that, go back and click OK and go back into input 1 and let's record the message. Now we're going to cover the custom voice messages. There are three types of messages that you usually need to set on, R on each RQA to be effective. You'll need the assistance needed message, you'll need the reset message or all clear message, and you'll need the low battery indication message so that you know which RQA is getting low batteries so you don't chase uh, all of them all over the store. So first, uh, let's talk about the assistance message needed. If you go into input one and double left click on input one, you'll, the screen will come up and you'll allow you under assist message to record your message, follow the prompts on that screen to lead you to the end of that recording. You can press play to review the message on one of your handheld radios now that we've set the frequencies and tones. Uh, you should be able to decide whether that's enough, if that's the right message for you. Please repeat that same process on reset message and then click OK, go to power options, double click on that tab and go ahead and record your low battery message and play that to make sure it's what you want. Uh, some of these messages are limited by the time you can actually make the message, so keep that in mind when you're recording the message. So now let's, let's talk about programming the additional units, if any, that you might have. First and foremost, we need to go to click OK, go up to radio and program radio to make sure all the personalities back into the radio. The messages don't travel through that data stream, but the programming information for their frequencies and tones do. So go ahead and set that. Then line up all the RQAs you have and go right down the line and hook each one up, hit the red button, go up to radio, program radio, and dump the profile into the unit. 
you'll need to go to each unit individually to set the custom voice messages, messages both uh, reset and assistance and low battery. In closing, we want to thank you for buying our American-made products made right here in Indianapolis, Indiana. We appreciate the business. And for a complete look at our product line and for additional resources, including a complete owner's manual for this product line, please visit our website at Ritron.com. Thank you.